On there guys, good Sunday evening. It is the Earth Master here on this side of the microphone, this side of the screen. It is September 26, 2021, about 8.05 p.m. West Coast time here in the state of California. A 3.5 magnitude earthquake striking out around the Puerto Rico uh, region. You can see that uh, uptick in earthquake activity there on the globe. Let's go ahead and check out a little bit more details here on the USGS map. As we look at United States there, you can see some movement across the Northern California area. In fact, the uh, kind of stretching into the Intermountain West regions here with some 2.5 earthquakes. Uh, looks like a 3.7 around the Smith Valley, uh, Nevada area. Even though it's on the California side here, it's uh, right around the Antelope Valley. This activity on an increase in the swarm sequences that is going on here around the Walker, California area pretty important area tectonically covered this uh, about the Walker oh what is it called the Walker Ridge or Walker Lane I can't remember but uh, it's a little it's, a, it's kind of an interesting little topic here I might have to get into regarding that uh, this whole region we'll do that another night when I have a little bit more time but looking at earthquake activity definitely ramping up here in this region of the Antelope Valley area stretching uh, from west to east once again some movement around the Mono Lake region as well down there towards the lake level area. And also Long Valley Super Volcano getting in on some of the microquakes uh, scattered about that area of California. Looking over here around the Cascadia, we've been talking about this for the past few nights here. Uh, the large amount of tremor along the Cascadia that's taken place is starting to show some signs of some stri uh, surface stress, uh, including a 3.6 that occurred earlier today, earlier this morning. Uh, at 11 kilometers and also had a 2.4 a little bit deeper in that region as well this this area under a tremendous amount of strain due to the amount of trimmer that's taken place along the cascadia subduction zone the southern end here we'll check out that more in just a little bit ridgecrest area looking at some activity uh, down here south stretching towards the Gar garlock fault system as well Kind of watching this pretty closely as we get closer to this area that's capable of producing a significant significant size quake not a lot of people think that uh, uh this this uh system can uh well it doesn't accumulate a whole lot of stress but it does add accumulation here and it's been quite a while since we've had a, a fairly large earthquake on this section and i think if we were to see a large one here there's no doubt possibility it could trigger the san andreas fault with it being so close so kind of keep an eye on that region. Uh, San Jacinto Fault area looking at some activity as well. Uh, moving up into the Intermountain West regions, way up here in the Montana, a few earthquakes popping off. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the Western Pacific. Pretty quiet once again, folks. We did have some uh, activity around the Manila, Philippines area, including a, a pretty good size uh, 5.7 earthquake at 98 kilometers. That was quickly followed up by an aftershock of 4.5, but much deeper in the uh, depth for that earthquake. This earthquake was felt uh, some, at some regions over here in the Philippines. Uh, let's see, some movement around the uh, Indonesia and Papua New Guinea region. Uh, some further activity along the Kermadec Trench uh, with some shallow quaking, 4.7 there at the surface of the Kermadec Trench. And also some movement uh, around the Mediterranean, around the Greece area. Uh, South America looks typical right now. Some deeper activity into the subduction zone. Let's go ahead and check out Yellowstone National Park here real quick. Uh, not a whole lot going on there, folks. It looks pretty quiet. Um, not a whole lot of uh, earthquake activity whatsoever. Trimmer map. Let's check this out here real quick. See what we got. Check that out. Good Lord. 685 epicenters of trimmer. And look, we got a new area to watch. We've been watching this area here in Southern Oregon and also Northern California. There's still a wide amount, a large amount of Northern California swarming uh, trimmers there along the Cascadia that we're watching. But we are monitoring some further activity up North. So we're looking at a broader scale of slippage along the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. We need to, need to watch this one pretty closely, 685 epicenters it seems like uh, the average has been about 500 epicenters or so over the last few days so quite the accumulation of stress along the Cascadia all right folks we're gonna call it a night just kind of a short quick update I do have my nephew here with me tonight hope everyone has a glorious a beautiful evening and an awesome Monday tomorrow 
Uh, things are kind of getting a little crazy out here in the world. So just stay safe and uh, be observant. We will chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.